Hey, what if you could invest your money like a $30 billion institution, like an endowment? This is David Ray, retirement architect. If you want to reach out to me, it's 1 800 611 1967. Again, 1 800 611 1967. So we've, we've built our firm around what's called an endowment model. And what does that mean in English, Dave? What, what is an endowment model? What do I care? Well, what, what, David Swenson, who runs the Yale Endowment, it's about a $35 billion endowment. It's one of the top, I think, Yale's $50 billion. Endowments are very much like a retirement plan. So what happens is people give money to the university, let's say Yale, and over the years it's $30 billion, big number. And what happens is that endowment funds a lot of expenses for the university, like you know tens of millions of dollars. And typically you're looking at about a 5% distribution of those assets. Think about that, 5%. So retirement's no different. We have our bucket of money here, right, that we've saved our whole lives for, and we have to fund expenses, which would cost, what's it cost to, to eat, to have our cars, to have our house, to go on vacation. Hopefully, if you've done good planning, your vacation should be your biggest expense, hopefully. And so an endowment is, is similar to a retirement plan. It's treated the same way. Save money, take distributions. The funny part is the distribution – of the typical endowment fund to, 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 to pay for university expenses that are allocated for that is about 5%. That's the goal. We want to be able to pay 5% out um, of this endowment. And that's the number, coincidentally, that we want our clients to have for distribution, about 5%. So on a million dollars, I can tell you from experience, we need to take out about 50000 a year. Now, according to Morningstar, according to other people a lot smarter than I am, you can only take out about 2.8% of your portfolio value without running out of money. That's like 28,000 a year as opposed to 50,000, which is what we gear our clients for. Because I know that's what you need to have a good retirement. So the reason I'm explaining this to you and, and using the endowment model as the example is if you looked at Yale, it's, it's online, you can see it. And I look at their reports every year. And David Swenson, who is kind of the godfather of the endowment model, which what that means is, is how do we invest money beyond stocks and bonds? Because most of you only have a stock and bond portfolio, right? And you have 50% stock, 50% bond. And I can tell you it's too much risk. The average, the, the average one of you listening to me right now would have about a 30% loss in another recession. Okay. And that's just unacceptable. I mean, if you have a million dollars, can you afford to lose $300,000? That's why retirement is not about making a bunch of money. It's about maximizing cash flow. Period, end of story. What's the most money safely we can take out of our portfolio without running out of money? So how do we create a, a more bulletproof portfolio? Because stocks and bonds are just not enough. Does it mean they're not part of the portfolio? No. But there's other things. So I will tell you, I'm looking at, this is fiscal year 2001 for Yale's Endowment. And uh, equities, domestic equities, 15%. Foreign equities, 10%. So in 2001, the Yale Endowment only owned 25% stock. 25% stock. That's it. And their return that year was 9.2%. Doesn't sound like outrageous, but in 2001, the stock market was down 13%. So Yale was up 9.2, and the stock market was down 13. Okay. So how did they do that? Well, they had some fixed income. They have some what's called private equity. They had hard assets, which we use real estate. So they had he had 16.8% uh, hard assets, which most of that was real estate. So out of it, the portfolio was only about 25% stocks, the rest hard assets, other alternative investments. He outperformed the S&P by, what, 22%, 13%. Minus 13% for the S&P, and he was up 9%. That's a 22% differential. In 2000, the market was down 10%. Yale and Down was up 41%. That's a 50% differential. That same year, there was about 14% domestic equity and 9% foreign equity, 23%. And he earned 41% return. I'm not saying I can do the same thing. What I'm telling you, though, is what's important to know, not just the return, because he's Swenson and Yale Endowments outperformed the S&P 
significantly since 1985 when he took over the fund. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because there's other assets besides stocks and bonds we can invest in that not only can give us more returns over time, but smooth out the returns. So we use other asset classes like real estate, like annuities. We're going to have one of the, uh, the uh, CEOs of one of the big real estate firms that we use in what's called student housing. And we're going to have him on in a couple of weeks. Um, his name is Brian Nelson of NB Private Capital. We've worked with them for a long time. And we love student housing. It's a great asset class. We have properties, USC, Notre Dame, Old Miss, West Virginia, new property at Kent State, um, Northwestern University, a new property in Austin. Um, so these are great investments. They pay good yields uh, right now in the 6% range. Um, they're also tax favorable. So uh, we can actually reduce taxes and have uh, more income. Again, tax is a cost. So things like real estate, even annuities. And annuities I consider as an alternative. It's not a stock or a bond, right? It's an annuity. So that's another diversifier. So if I own stocks and bonds and I own part of my investments in real estate, I own an annuity, you start seeing what's happening. Now we have these tranches of assets. All of a sudden, now I'm not relying on the returns of the stock and bond market, which I cannot control anyway for my retirement. So that's kind of crazy. So if you want to learn how to build a portfolio, how we build portfolios, how we're completely different, I always say, if you want to, if you want a second opinion from somebody that's going to be the antithesis of our industry, then at least sit down with me because I promise you're going to learn something that, that you didn't know for sure. Um, another idea, you may not like it, but that's just the way we run our firm. And at least you'll get uh, something totally different than what you have today. And, and I can say that with about 99% certainty because most of you have the same type of portfolio, some iteration of stocks and bonds. Okay. So if you want to get a second opinion from me, talk about your portfolio, show you how we do things differently. Look at the fees of your portfolio, which we typically will reduce in half. Um, give me a call 1-800-611-1967. That's 1-800-611-1967 or go to reyesplan.com. That's R-E-Y-E-S, plan.com. So, again, endowment investing is really kind of code word for not using just stocks and bonds as, as investments. We're going to use other investments like real estate, um, a hard asset, right? Because So what does the income stream from, a, from an apartment building next to a student housing next to USC have to do with the stock market going down 50%? Zero. That means that we're now on investments that are not correlated to the stock market or bond market. That reduces risk of the stock and bond market. It also has its own returns, its own growth rates. So you start layering on these other asset classes, and I will argue, and, and, and proof is I have proof of this, um, is that you're going to have a lower volatility of your portfolio and you have the opportunity to outperform the market over time. It's kind of the tortoise and the hare. Are we going to earn, you know, 20%, 30% a year? No. But if we can earn 5 to 7%, you know, like hitting singles and doubles over the years and not go through the 50% downturns, we're going to do really well. So, again, if you want to reach out to me for a complimentary second opinion, give me a call, 1-800-611-1967. That's 1-800-611-1967. Or go to reyesplan.com. That's R-E-Y-E-S plan.com. So, as I mentioned, we're going to start having workshops that will be uh, – a post on our website that we're going to do uh, at our offices in La Jolla. Um, and just to do more intimate, intimate workshops. I do a lot of public workshops. We do, we do uh, workshops for uh, corporations, uh, for different, uh, uh, different, different businesses. Um, so we want to do something a little, a little more intimate, you know, no more than probably 10, 12 people uh, and do these more frequently. Uh, so just go to our website and you should be, you can receive information on that. Or you can call our office again at 1-800-611-1967 and ask for Crystal. Um, she'll be able to help you with that. She's awesome, and uh, she's in charge of all these workshops. So um, I'm just happy to announce that. Um, I will be giving you more dates and times as I, as I get these, um, but we will be advertising these times and dates regardless. So, um, you know, we talked about endowment investing, why, that's, why we feel that's superior, how do we, how do we, how do we create asset classes that are not correlated to the stock and bond market? Because I can tell you from experience, if you disown a portfolio of stocks and bonds, you know, ne during the next financial crisis that we're going to have, I mean, it's not if, it's just when and how much, you're going to be, you're going to be kicking yourself. So get a second opinion, whether it's from me or somebody else. I always say, get it from two people. Get one from me, get one from somebody else, and and whoever you like better and like what they do, then hire them. 
but at least look at what you own because I'll tell you, you don't know what you own. And right now you're in a great position because the market has recovered a lot of its losses from last year, but we're still nowhere. We've gone nowhere. The stock market is exactly where it was almost a year and a half ago. Okay, about, about, mm, about 15, 16 months ago. So you've gone through basically a heart attack of going down up to 10%, down 10%, up 10%, down 20%, up 20%. I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of saying that because that's, you know, that's, that's like I always call that's like the EKG, right? You're having a heart attack. W- investing money that way is just insanity. And here's the, the sad part. You, I mean, the good part is you don't need to do that. You'll have more success by having more asset classes in your portfolio beyond stocks and bonds, earning, you know, mid to high single digit returns more consistently, being more tax advantaged, reducing fees, all those things will attribute to a higher success. So, again, if you want to reach out to me, please do for a complimentary, free second opinion. Again, I'll evaluate your portfolio. I will look at the fees you're paying. I'll look at the risk that you have in the portfolio. I'll also do a complimentary retirement income plan for you that I'd love to do. So, again, if you want to meet with me, give me a call at 1-800-611-1967. That's 1-800-611-1967. Or go to reyesplan.com. That's R-E-Y-E-S plan.com. That's all the time I have for today. I look forward to next week. God bless, and I'll see you soon. This is David Reyes, your retirement architect.